what's up GCP Nation? I'm Ben Lynch from Sirenscape. Super, super excited to have the GCP guys here at the stand. Grant, Matthew, and Skid. Yay! Right. So Skid, tell us about how you found out about Sirenscape. I, you know, I don't remember where I heard about it first, but it was before you guys launched. It was on YouTube or That's something. So cool. And I was like, uh, I was thinking, I was looking for something like music to play uh -huh. in our home Rune Lords campaign mm -hmm. uh, with Grant. That's where, where I met Grant. That's cool. Uh, and I saw that you guys were were had this in the works, and I was like, oh my god, this is so it's such a cool concept. And I told all my friends about it, and I was just, I can't wait. And I was waiting as I like, got the release day, like all ready to go. And it was like 2013, I think. Yeah, and it yeah. was, and I got it, and I hooked it up to my home surround sound uh -huh. system, and uh, and it was, I, I've loved it like from day one. And then when you guys released like the AP specific sound sets yep. for Rune Lords, I was yeah. like, oh, this is amazing! Like this is so great. So, and were we in time with you? Did we catch up? Or yeah, yeah, it was actually. I think we were in like book. Th Two or three, like it was pretty early uh -huh. on yeah. that we were able to start using it. So, Rune Lords was huge for us because that's the first yeah. thing we thought to do that, like planning out those adventures, kind of, you know, and it was so much work. Yeah. Like, absolutely killed us, but it was yeah. so great to get it out. That got me uh, to subscribe. Uh -huh. That's what's got me to uh, be a, become a subscriber yeah, first awesome. time. So. so, you heard these sounds like yeah. for the first time? Tell us about that experience. Well, it was my first tabletop role playing experience. So, I had a great uh, GM and skid, and then I had this really immersive experience, and I have, I don't understand kind of going from not having something yeah. like Sirens to having it, but when I do play games without having that kind of immersive experience, the music, the battle sounds, the contextual things that relate to the experience, it, it just feels kind of hollow. So we, Sirenscape's been a part of almost every game I've ever played and I love it. Yeah, That's super cool. Sometimes because I work these cons, I might have a game at nighttime and I'm like, oh, just who needs Sirenscape? I've heard it all day. And then you get sort of 45 minutes in and you're like, I feel really flat. Where's, where's my awesomeness? And so then I have to fish it out and get it going again, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It really is great. I just it's like being inside the game in a really cool way. I just I just love and it's fun too. It's like with the, the drops and everything. It's just the uh, Yeah, so two years ago you guys visited the stand and yeah. we we're like, hey, oh come in the tent and let's record something and you messed about in there. Yep. And we told the fans and like how did they react? Uh, they've been really excited yeah. for like two years. Like yeah. they thought it was coming out like yeah. the next day. Yeah. And they were so really sweet. excited. They kept asking, they kept asking and it, it took a while, but uh <laughs> I, I think they're very excited now. It has finally released, and uh, yeah. people are very, very pumped about it. So pretty early on in the whole GCP things, you guys contacted us and said, hey, these sounds are, are cool. Can, can we use them? First, like, why did you do that? And I suppose, what's the effect been? I mean, it's, we're making a podcast, so it's just a purely auditory medium. So, like, yeah, yeah. beyond our voices, like, we needed something else to help tell the story. So, I mean, like, when Skid had experience with it and Grant had experience with it, and I think Joe had had heard it, and he was like, oh, great, like, yes, let's use that. Yeah, yeah. And so, I mean, like, it's just part of creating the world and creating, the, and you know, not just us making sounds with our mouths. But there's also, there's other elements going on. And I, I, I run the Sirenscape for our Starfinder campaign on Androids and Aliens. Uh, and I mean, those those AP specific sound sets for those too have been amazing. Yeah, yeah. This is because we're doing stuff that's, it's not real, right? It's like yeah. beyond, even beyond like the realm of fantasy, like we're talking about like, what does space travel sound like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What does it sound like to be on a ship? What is it like, what kind of, like how, when you're, just traveling long distances on a ship, like the equivalent of the fireside chat in a Pathfinder campaign. It's like, yeah. oh, we need something for that too. And then it's been great. Yeah, because we're, we're trying to like create a radio play, basically, like an old timey radio yeah, play. That's right. And it helps so much. And actually, I just remembered something else. You and I emailed back in back in 2013, uh -huh. when I was first like loading up Sirenscape, I was running into some technical issue. Uh -huh. There was another like, it turned out there was like a background program that was interfering with it. Yeah. And I emailed you, I emailed Sirenscape. I was like, I can't get it to work. And you it must have been like four o'clock in the morning in yeah. Australia or something. And you were like, hey, how can I help? And you were like, and I we had a little back and forth, and I was like, this guy's awesome. Like I was like, I was I told everybody I was like, I taught this guy Ben Lowe's, he's really great. It's like That's cool, yeah. I mean I still yeah. hold on to support. I do a whole big chunk of the clock for support because getting in touch with uh, the people who are actually literally using it yeah. is super, super informative for us. And like literally half the features that are in Sirenscape that work really well are because people have whinged and complained about them or, you know, yeah. they wanted them. And you actually thanked me because you were like, oh, you brought up an yeah, issue that absolutely. like I didn't know was a thing. And Good it was job. Like, mm, yeah, cool. so you're welcome. One of the things I've found interesting, some podcasters have tried to uh, run the Sirenscape after they've recorded or they uh, put it through the system without the players hearing it. Yeah. What's your experience with how it actually affects the play itself? So uh, one thing that we did later on uh, was get auditions set up with two discrete recorders. Mm. So now we have Sirenscape 
Sirenscape running on a separate track, and that lets us mix it a little bit easier. But hearing it live, yeah. when we hear like the classic battle sounds, we, we, we know what zone to get in, and it gets us really psyched up and ready to fight. Um, it's always great when we go from like ambient kind of cave music where we are in Giant Slayer to having some creepy undertones when we get a revelation and it just kind of helps raise the hairs on your arm and get you excited for things. So hearing it live for us is instrumental. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of, it can be kind of magical, right? Where you're playing and you're, you, have a, you have a sound going and you have some underscoring happening. And then, yeah, a big moment will happen and all of a sudden there's like, like through no doing our own, the sound set will just kind of go like, boom. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. And, it, and it's like, yeah. what just happened? And it, yeah. that gets us amped up too. That's the genius of it on your part, I think. It's like the dynamism of it, the way it, yeah. it just seems to fit so well, like the way that you, you do it. It just seems to like accentuate the rhythm of the game yeah. in a really organic way. Uh, so yeah. And it even has narrative control sometimes. Maybe sometimes a random sound will trigger, like a deep yeah. roar or something. Absolutely. And the players are like looking down a hole or something, and everyone's like, "I go back home and become a florist." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's like, what was that? And it and it will. So it'll inform the game directly. It's like it'll it'll change what we're playing. It's I, like I can't remember what what show it was on, but at one point there was like a, it was a scary a scary sound set, and somebody screamed in the background, and we were yeah. all like, "Oh, yeah. let's not go down that hallway." <laughs> yeah, we're not going down there. So we've been chatting and stuff, but what I really want to see is you guys actually try out these sound sets because they're hilarious and the thought of you guys having a conversation with Troy as Rasmataz is just oh, yeah. making me just go yeah we don't need them at all anymore now that we have <laughs> thank, you so thank, much, you so thank you so much thank you so much let's have a go let's have a go right, let's hello Rasmataz I my name is Pembroke oh you caught me off guard I was just murdering oh dear <laughs> that's so horrible what is your name my name's Rasmataz, and I feel like we're going to be best friends. <laughs> well, well, we'll just have to see about that, won't we? Uh, uh. Oh, yes. No, I'm very good at doing that. I, what? We're doing what? What are you saying? Yes. No, no, that's not exactly what... I prefer my hats a little wet. <laughs> it's truly disgusting. Good luck. You're the boss. Yes, I am the boss. I was the one who cast Charm Monster all those ages ago. So do we need Troy anymore, Rasmataz? The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> and the one everyone's been asking for on social media is this one. Yes, it does exist. I am starving. In totally unrelated news, can I hold that baby? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, awesome. That's we need great. Tom Exposition now. Hang on. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, right. right. Gotta go with him. Uh, Funny you should ask. I just happen to have that exact map in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I love the picture. Yeah. Okay. So Got the suit. Ba, 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 ba. Let old Tommy speak. <laughs> yeah. I like the. Um, oh, here we have this one. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> you, say that, <laughs> you say that whenever they say something that you can't respond to. <laughs> and I was like, oh, what? I was like, where do we go? Where do we go now? I don't know. <laughs> <That's> I, <right. laughs> I, I remember when I was cutting these, the uh, can't do that's are really good. There's a couple. Uh, I wouldn't do that for all the tea in Ming Kai. Well, you we, we can do that. You may not know this, but I'm an expert at that exact thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then one more thing to try, which is the drops, which is super oh, cool. Which oh, yeah. Use oh, in the actual boy. game. Oh, this is great. This is what... Awesome. Awesome. That's so cool. And then... Critical threat, critical threat, critical, critical, critical threat. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh, this, here we go. There we go. Sometimes you can see the ocean. Sometimes you can't see it at all. And it's the team, ocean view. Let's all watch me go die. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, I mean, thank you so much for putting this together. Oh, it's yeah. been a blast. Uh, it's been it's really been super fun. So can people get hold of these? Indeed they can. <laughs> yeah, just go over to www.glasscannonpodcast.com and you can buy them through our store link on the page. And uh, yeah, 
please yeah. use them at home. Do it, do it, do, do it. it now. Do it now. <laughs> well, thank you so much for stopping by, guys. I've been looking forward to this the whole show. It's super fun. It's been great to get you in the app. Uh, Grant, Matthew Skate, it's been super, super fun. It's been it's real too for us awesome. too. Like this really is kind of a dream come true for me. Just having used your app for so long, like I, I never had any idea that like I would have anything on here, or, like I'd be part of it. So it's like really, really cool, and I want to thank you for. Well, it's been great watching you guys rising success as a podcast, and I wish you go to the the heights of shiny uh, fame and uh, yeah, become okay. geek geek cred people of the to the max that's to the we, max. That's the hope. That's we aspire to. So so see you next show and uh, yeah, yeah, enjoy the rest of your Gen Con. Bye it's bye to you, Rasmus. See you, Rasmus. I hate to watch me go, but I love to watch me leave. <laughs> oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs>